The next thing we're going to do is make our website actually look a bit nicer because at the moment it, it is a bit of a boring mess. So um, we're going to be using something known as CSS or Cascades cascading style sheets. Now, uh, in order to get this working, we do have to use quite a bit of CSS and um, that there's so much in CSS to learn. Uh, I, I'm not going to teach you up to everything because it will just take absolute ages. Um, so I'm going to keep this as simple as I can. So this is not the best way to do CSS, by the way. Um, this is just simply something for you to get started with. So I'm going to put a style tag in my main templates. What style refers to is the style of the page. So what it's going to look like, it's, it's kind of um, colors and layouts and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the fonts. Okay, so I'm going to change the fonts and the styles of um, my list items here and my uh, tags, uh, so my, my uh, links. So I'm just going to borrow some code from something I've already done, just so you don't have to watch me type the whole time. I'm going to put it in there. Now, in order to get this working, we need to put it inside the style tag. Okay. And li refers to this here. So, what a cascading style sheets allows us to do is apply styles, colors, fonts, things like that to specific tags and later on to classes and things like that. So, I'll explain that as we get to it. So, here we've got font family. And what fan fa font family does is set the fonts that we're using. So I'm going to use Arial uh, just because it's going to be built in. Font size is how big the font's going to be. So 16 pixels, that's fine. The PX stands for pixels, by the way. Um, this color, now this looks like a horrible mess, okay? This is hex, okay? Um, believe it or not, this is a useful use of hex. Now, you probably have no idea what that color is. I'll be honest, I can't remember off the top of my head. But if you're using Genie, you can click on Color Chooser, and you can pick a color. So let's say I want my text to be a beautiful kind of, there you go, I'll have it uh, this kind of, uh, kind of pinky kind of color. And you can see here, it's got the red, green, blue values, but most importantly, it's got the hex value of it. Okay, so these, the first two values on this hex refers to the red, the next two refers to the green, and you get the idea, hopefully. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to replace this with that. So now that's how you can pick a color. Now, if you don't have Genie, um, just Google Color Picker, and it will do the pretty much same thing. Okay, so Google has its own kind of version of this as well. Right, text decoration is whether it's going to be underlined or like that. Uh, I don't want it to have anything, so I'm going to leave that as none. So this is my style initially. So I'm going to save that, and let's test it because testing is really important. So I get my website open. Okay, cool. I've now got pink text. And you can see the font has changed. Now, notice the underline has gone. Okay? I'm going to take out oops. I'm going to take out text decoration and show you what's why that was there. Okay, you see with uh, whenever you have a hyperlink, by default it underlines it. If I don't want it underlined, then that's where text decoration comes into it. Okay, so that's how we can um, change the font, the size, and the color. So to begin with, um, so we do this in stages. Um, stop the video and kind of just change the font, change the colors, and the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, kind of move on and make this a bit more attractive to look at.